review of shark stock wetsuit uh, back in february 2022 i ordered it on kickstarter and it finally arrived and i had a uh, chance to use it for twice and now it's october basically waited for eight months Nice color, it's a little bit heavier than my normal 5.4, but just tiny, but not much. Wow, completely different texture and feel. So this is medium tall. Interesting, so the material, the, this is normal neoprene, and here you have the Sharp stuff material, the ones it doesn't penetrate. This is it's eighty percent neoprene, twenty percent nylon. Full cool. disclaimer: I have no association with the company. So quality wise it seems uh, pretty solid, uh, the only thing like uh, the seams welding is not as good as on any like uh, big company wetsuit, but it's uh, reasonably okay. Yeah. I got the size medium tall in 5mm, uh, I mainly use it for wing foiling and if whatever is described on website uh, is true it kind of becomes like a double-edged sword it's like protect from sharks and protect from sharp foils in terms of protection I, I ran uh, some very sophisticated tests as you can see so with sharp knife this is normal neoprene cuts right through pretty easy and pokes super easy yeah and when I do the same test on uh, the new polymer fiber material it when I do it gently it doesn't really cut much just a little bit and poke through it does poke through but it requires more effort not like crazy more but more effort so this is not a real good test because there is no such a thing as uh, this kind of sharpness out in the ocean and if I cut it pretty hard uh, I can see the fibers cut and so I can see what the material is it's this new polymer fiber is glued on piece of neoprene from both sides and that's what makes the shock stop material I guess uh, the screwdriver is more like a tooth and you can see how easy it is to poke through normal wetsuit I think this is four millimeter old one and through shark stop I tried my best uh, uh, I tried very hard yeah I could not like I was doing everything I can and cannot pull through <laughs> So I think it's more like a real <coughs> test. That's what a tooth would look like. <coughs> Cannot break it. And there's no marks, uh, surprisingly, after this test. Yeah, repeating it again. Uh, normal neoprene just pokes through easily. And when I use um, sharp stuff one? material, cannot do it. Yeah. yeah, I'm having a hard time. Cannot do it. Pushed really hard and I can't do it. <coughs> yeah, can't. And no marks. So I guess it's a more real test. Looks like a tooth, I guess. It was a knife. A good test. In terms of fit, you can see how it folds when you bend and things. It's different than neoprene for sure. Out of the box, the wetsuit is definitely tighter. It's a different feel. It's like you're wearing, the best I can describe in words, I guess, it's like you're wearing tight jean, jeans clothes that doesn't stretch. It's not like neoprene. Neoprene follows the contours of your body. As for the size, the medium tall, I think, is one centimeter short on arms and legs. I don't know if it's going to stretch over time a little bit, but currently it feels like it's a little bit short. Yeah, not a showstopper, but would be nice if eventually it was uh, follow like some kind of manufacturing standards everywhere, the sizing. Even though I understand it's pretty hard to do so, each manufacturer does sizing a little bit different. The improvements that can be made 
to the wetsuit is add uh, loops at the end of legs so you can attach your accessories like this shark bands for example or some people like to use velcro strap and uh, close basically uh, at the end of the wetsuit also not next to those loops uh, you need to add um, drain holes it's like in my mystic wetsuit you can see and the biggest complaint is actually the neck the neck is not done properly i think it it's way too short and once you get in the water it just flushes through right away so you get water inside it needs to be at least two maybe three centimeters longer and tighter and maybe some redesign i don't know exactly but you can see comparing to my favorite white suit mystic uh, it's way higher the neck and way more comfortable things to improve is the neck nice features to have is loops at the legs and at drain holes i still wear my shark bands i take any precaution i can once you put the suit it's a very different feel it's definitely tighter it's not as um, seamless as like your normal neoprene suit yeah you you can i don't know maybe it will probably take some time to get used to it and to stretch a little bit yeah after two times i can't tell you for sure it probably needs at least i don't know five eight times to uh, get the feel fully of the suit but it's doable and i can do all the maneuvers with my wing foiling stuff so no complaints there uh, another feature would be nice is to add this new polymer fiber material on the kneecaps it would be such a game changer like for anything foiling because we spend so much time kneeing on the board so if there was a patch that doesn't easily get holes that would be super cool yeah maybe add another option like a foiling foiling option to the suit like kneecaps cover kneecaps would be cool just a few days ago in my local area we had a guy on ski attacked by a shark you can see the picture and you can imagine the size of an animal making that kind of uh, bite nobody got hurt uh, the guy jumped out of the ski and got rescued so it's all good but just you never know and there are some pictures from museum you can just get an idea i guess and better protect yourself by all means you can so that's why we're shark bands i wear two of them and now i'm gonna start wearing this shark stop wetsuit and hopefully it will stretch a little bit and become more comfortable but even now it's doable yeah, it's just a different feel need to get used to it i think the future for this kind of uh, suits with this material it's custom fit maybe some kind of 3d scan like with a phone that automatically does a measurement because if you do it manually yeah, it's very prone to error and it's not that easy to do it correctly i think and yeah, just pay some extra and get custom fit. That would be the future, I think. Get off. Surprisingly, actually, it's not that bad to put it on, even with a front uh, chest zip. And to take it off, it's actually easier than neoprene because this new material, the polymer fiber, it just rolls off. Yeah, so it's easy. It doesn't stick to you as much as neoprene after the session. And uh, I think it has a little bit, the suit has a little bit more buoyancy due to trapped air inside. So once you put it on, it doesn't, like I mentioned, it doesn't follow your contours of the body. So uh, there is some uh, probably trapped air throughout the suit. And that's what maybe what gives a little bit more buoyancy. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the suit. And I think it's a big success for a first production uh, run for the company. And uh, I hope to see more protected people in a war.